Had Moving House soon as electricity was like a thing, people just went, you can make toast with this and started working on electric toasters. But they didn't quite have the whole heating element thing down, so there was a not insignificant chance of it just exploding. People have been making bread crunchy by heating it up for ages, but for some reason, I thought electric toasters would be like happening around the same time as like refrigerators. But no, people went easier crunchy bread as soon as the technology was available, not even remotely safe, but like existent. It took way longer to figure out how to make things cold with electricity. I specify electric toasters because before that they had these bad boys. You just put your slice of bread in there and hold it over your fireplace and bam, it's toast time. Actually, you didn't have to use those. If you find yourself wanting some toast in Victorian England, you could also stick your bread on one of these heckin' things right here. These are the creatively titled toasting forks, and they look metal as hell for the purpose they serve. You might notice that the tips are bent upwards, which is actually not for inflicting more pain when tormenting the souls of the damned, but rather because the bread goes on them like so, and the bent helps keep the bread from sliding off. I know this is the most niche interest shit in the world, but just look at that. The Victorian era had no reason to go as hard as it did, but every day I'm grateful for it. But sliced bread didn't exist until, oh, I don't know, but it was after Betty White was born. So would the Victorians just stab a wad of bread and toast it like a s'more or what? I don't know how to tell you you can slice a loaf of bread 